scrolling through Dueling Book right now. And we see some little comments out here. Say yes to sexism. That's really rude, bro. Don't say that. Yes, Zay, I just did it. Hippity hoppity, women are property. That's not really nice, man. You can't talk. Women are not objects. You can't talk to them. It's very sexist. That's very sexist, bro. Imagine what women are thinking reading this. Like, come on. Imagine what women are thinking reading this. Dot, dot, dot. In their kitchen. Ha. <laughs> Got him. So for today's video, we are going to rebuild the greatness that is... Well, let's get this out of the way first. Okay. The greatness that is Doriato Pals is coming back to real life. You guys remember this? Dark Doriato, let's go. Performer Pals, where are you at? We're going to rebuild greatness, boys. Let's put this here. Let's go. We are rebuilding greatness. So... Here's how to get behind the mind of a pen god. You want to build a deck that no one's playing because you're going to have that's better than them, that better than their decks because you're going to have an unfair competitive advantage. And who doesn't want that? Now, we're going to find a way to get this rolling with all you need to do is pendulum summon a dark Doriado on a performed by sorcerer and you have the whole combo. That's all you got to do, which you don't need three electrums for, you only need one. And if you get hand trapped, they're all monsters. Who cares? So, we're going to play as many pen source as we can and many Dark Doriados as we can. We're going to go, you're now getting in the mind of a pen god. This might just be the greatest video ever made in the history of pendulums. Now, we have three sorcerers, three Doriados. You got to think, this is a Dark Doriado deck. What's the point of Dark Doriado? It's to stack four different cards on top of your deck and add them to your hand. The point of. The performance Palace is it lets you draw two right away off the bat. And we have the we have the Nightmares, which we could also draw off of. We can't normal summon because Goblin's gone uh, so, uh, well, with that. So we can probably add three cards. We could add two from uh, the performance Palace and one from a uh, Nightmare card, which will lead to a lot of combos. So all you really got to do, the point of the deck now is to pendulum summon a Doriado and a Sorcerer. So, we need as many names of Dark Doriado as possible, and as many names of Performer Paul Sorcerer as possible. So, we're going to add three Duelist Alliance, which will also help us add Pendulum Call, if we need to. So now, we're also going to put in one Pendulum Call. Are we going to go with Magicians? We'll figure that out. We're going to put this in the side deck, in the case that we decide to go with Magicians. And this is how you build a deck. You start from the core of the deck. You start from the what you want out of the deck, like what's the point of the deck. So the point of the deck is Pendulum Summon, Doriado, and Sorcerer. Uh, and then you got to get all the cards possible to make this combo happen. Now, if we were to Pendulum Summon, Doriado, and Sorcerer, what's the best we could do? We'd be able to stack four cards on top of our deck. Earth, Water, Fire, Wind. So let's think off the bat, which ones can we add? If we want to go with Hand Trap dot deck, we could add one of each of those Hand Traps. So one Bell. One Ash, one Draw. Alright. There's also a Water in there. So we're going to have to add some Waters. Is this a Water Hand Trap? I don't think so. But we're going to think of some Waters in the future. Maybe add another Guitar or something. But we do need a third Perform Pal. So we're going to have to add some Perform Pal card in here. Because if you're going to draw a Lizard or Turtle, you can't destroy two. And you might need it for your combo. So we're going to add another Perform Pal in here. And I'm thinking Lizard Draw. I'm thinking Lizard Draw because if you were to open one Lizard Draw, you want to destroy your skill, add another Lizard Draw. Uh, if you might need to summon this Lizard Draw to make Electrum, etc, etc, you need access to the Lizard Draw. This way you ensure three Perform Piles. You can always pop two with Sorcerer. You with me? Now, you also need a Water. You need a second Water, right? To search, to add with the thing. So we're going to add Geet Turtle. Now, if we open one Lizard or one Turtle, we're good. If we open two Waters, we're good because we need two Waters for the uh, Hand Traps, right? So we need two hand traps for we need two waters for Doriado and we need three plus four and for for sorcerer. Now, do lizard draw and turtle do they brick? No, they do not brick. Don't forget that they're scales. Almost everything in your deck is gonna be under scale level six. They're scales. 
you need more high scales and everything's going to be under six now there's going to be no sevens etc etc now what else can we add we want as many turbo cars as possible so we're going to add curtain raiser we need as many turbo cars as possible so we're going to add all the turbo cars we possibly can because we need to make that electrum we're going to add cerberus two jackals we're going to add the dark worm package I'm going to add a second gate zero in the side deck in case we feel like playing it. We're going to need the hand traps. Uh, we're going to need two fires, two wins. So having extra hand traps doesn't hurt now in this format because of FDKs, etc. We're going to play a 60 card deck because you don't want to draw the hand traps too often. Uh, so those are the five. We're going to need the foolish burial cards now. Do you guys see how this is going now? How uh, you're actually seeing me build the deck? Like, this is the idea behind the deck, and you're now seeing, uh, at its finest, how the deck is supposed to be built. This is how a deck is supposed to be built from the core. So, we're going to play 60 cards, so we're going to go with that. Uh, you don't want to play Desires, because you're going to banish uh, the Winds, Fires, Waters, etc. So, we have two of each of Wind, Fire, Water, Earth, which is important for Doriado in case you draw one. Uh, what other Turbo cards should we add? We're going to go with Dragon Ravine as well. People don't understand the power of... You know, we're going to add a zero. A second zero. The power of Dragon Ravine is unbelievable. People aren't understanding the power of it. The power of Dragon Ravine is simply that... One sec. To get a little more comfortable out here. It's the idea that if you ditch a card you don't need anyways... Because there's a lot of the time you're not going to need a card in your hand. You're, you're going to ditch it. Uh, like a... A gate zero, a, a shrine, whatever, an extra shrine, doesn't matter what it is, a key turtle, whatever it is. Uh, the plus you get from Dark Room and Grave, special summoning and getting a free turbo, and uh, getting gate zero in your hand to replenish the card you discarded from Ravine, and then popping Ravine with Electro. Like, there's a crazy amounts of pluses there that people aren't understanding. So, uh, what else are we going to need here? This is 40 right here. Wow. I think we're just going to roll 40, boys. It just turned out to be exactly 40, and it works out perfectly. But, are we going to need more? You know what? We're going to go with Call by the Grave. Only, ah, no, Call by the Grave is absolute piss. It's like hand-trapping yourself. Never, do not do not play Call by the Grave. We're going to roll with these 40. That's going to be our deck. And we're going to see how it's going to work. We're going to show some test hands, all that. And we're going to see how it works. The point of this deck now, I want you to see how many turbo cards we have. So, you see right there, nine spell turbo cards. 12, we're going to put all the turbo cards at the bottom. So you guys are going to see how many we're actually going to have. And this is going to be a lot quicker if we just put the hand traps here. We'll put one razor here. So look at the amount of turbo cards we have. Uh, we're going to put these here. The Dark Worm, Jackal. All right, so we have... 15 turbo cards out here in fact if we were to draw oh yeah 15 like 15 is more than enough in terms of turbo cards and we're forgetting the best one chronograph how do i forget chronograph that's all good i'm gonna put chronograph time gazer still necessary to play time gazer 44 so look at these, we're going to put Gazer up here. Don't worry, I'm going to fix this little cluster mess later. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 turbo cards in a 44 card deck. Uh, now that we have, is Desires worth? No, these are definitely not worth. We are going to play Allure of Darkness. We're going to put those lines beside the Sorcerer, representing six performed ball pendulum Sorcerers. I think Magicians would be great to leave it for the last 13 uh, spots. But we do just need three more. You know what? We're going to go with Desires. Uh, we're going to go with Desires. I'm just going to activate Desires at the very end. We have lots of discard outlets with Dragon Ravine. So we can always just discard it if necessary. So if you look at the deck now, we're going to put the spells here. This representing three more Sorcerers. This deck is looking remarkable. 50 cards of pure greatness. Now, you look, at the, look how, how fluid it is. There's so many spells in the deck, so many turbo cards in the deck. 
spells uh people might look, might look at 50 cards and think oh so inconsistent like you're not adding garbage cards the cards you're adding are consistency spells hence making it more consistent think outside the box like a pen god not like a pen fraud like rohan thomas now three doriano three stork two turtle two lizard five hand traps perfect ratio i love it we're going with these 50. now we're going to build a little extra deck that's going to be necessary obviously the electra we're going to put land for whatever that card is now you want to look how many sevens we got we do got two sevens but uh, vortex is not going to be part of this game plan we're going with rank four central and rank six central uh so we got narito there all the rank fours you could think of we're gonna put more links later but this is how you build a deck you start from the scratch and you just keep adding good cards now these are the base 50 we have right this is the testing phase so now we're gonna test and we're gonna see hey we keep drawing double desires so we're gonna take a desires out we keep not drawing darks with the lore we keep seeing too many shrines we keep seeing this and this i keep seeing hand traps i don't see enough hand traps you're gonna know based on the more you play so i'm gonna keep this doriado pilot as the base and the more videos that i make i'm gonna duel with it i'm gonna see the issues with it and we're gonna fix it together as a family so we got dweller tornado we just gotta f finish the base of the extra now you gotta put karen gorgon for uh people that play bad decks like strikers uh let's put the boral cards in there we're gonna need to add uh the typical nightmare cards that we could add i might take out boral load but we're gonna see so we're gonna have night all the nightmares in here uh that like do something like utility wise we're gonna keep mer uh, mermaid yeah we're gonna mermaid's good to have because if you're gonna uh, use one of the nightmares that you just need a, a link going downwards it comes up a lot all right all the nightmares we got Boral, Boral, Boral's Nightmares, uh, two generic Link 2s, no tuners in the deck because we're not playing Magicians aside from like the level 3s, uh, alright, now a uh, more generic Rank 4s, so we're gonna go with, let's see here, our level 4s, we have the Dark level 4s, we, we don't have, uh, we do have a good amount of Dark level 4s, yeah, we go with Dark Level Force. We're gonna put the Supreme King down. Uh, where is this? This one. We're gonna put that guy down. We're gonna put Giant Hand down, which is incredibly underrated of a card. I think that's good for rank fours. Uh, we want, we want to put one more rank six because there are no synchros in the deck unless we want to go with Pendulum Summoning and Ash Blossom. Pendulum Summoning and Ash Blossom. Let's go because Ash Blossom is ass. All right, Blossom. So, we are going to play a, uh, an actual use for it by playing the FA Dragster, just in case. So, that's what the deck's looking like right now. We're going to see how it goes. We're going to test this some more. Tomorrow's video, we're going to test this deck in action. So, see you guys then. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to subscribe to Fitness. Check out our vlogs. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.